Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, here on Tuesday for another Coffee and Cards. Good morning to you and welcome. I will wait a few minutes to see if anybody hops on for Coffee and Cards this morning. I hope all is well with you wherever you are. It is cloudy today. It's not very nice. It's the kind of the same weather that we've been having for, it seems like, weeks where the sun doesn't shine, it's just cloudy and dull. But the weather forecast tells me it's going to really get nice at the end of the week. We're going to get sort of 25 degrees. I'm very excited about the weather coming. Hello, Jen. Good morning to you. I'm so glad you could join us this morning. Um, I have got a really fun project lined up for us today, and I will show you that in a minute. Quite excited about this. Um, yeah, so we're going to be playing with... Hello, hello, I'll show you the stamp set we're going to be playing with. I might just wait a minute, see if anyone else hops on. I'm a little bit late. I think I think I was like two minutes late today. Just a few minutes late, not really. Not really, not really. So yeah, I've got some exciting news uh, for you. If you are one of my customers or would like to be one of my customers, we have lots of exciting news. Morning, Zaina. Good morning. Just trying to see everyone on there so um this is coming this is coming this is the mini catalog this is the july to december mini catalog i can't show you the inside yet i'm sorry morning linda um i am so excited about this because this has all that end of the year's products in it, it has all the autumn and winter things in it and you know what that means the c word all of the Christmas goodies are in there. It's also got loads of autumn stuff. It's got Halloween. It's got Thanksgiving for uh, mostly for our American friends, but you know, lots of thank you and harvesty type things and autumn leaves. But Christmas, it's got some super gorgeous things in it. So this is already live for demonstrators to order from. We can do our order. We can grab this and order from it. Customers. It's very soon, guys. You can order from it on the 3rd of August. Now, I know it says to July to December for this mini, but with the pandemic and everything else this year, they pushed this publication back just one month. So it's, got, it's coming. So my delivery of these catalogues is arriving this week. So I've got my first one, but my delivery to send to my customers is arriving this week. So they will be going out in the post to you. So if you order from me, you'll be getting one of these lovely things. It's so, it's full of so many beautiful things. But just as exciting as that, alongside it, for the very first time this year, we have, hang on, <laughs> a second celebration. So we have celebration, which always comes in the spring, um, normally sort of January through March. This year, good morning, Hilary. This year we have done celebra celebration differently. So we had, instead of celebration being January through March, we had it January to the end of February. And then we've come with a second edition. And this one is going from the 3rd of August through August, through September to the 30th of September. Um, and I can't show you inside this one either, but this will be coming out in the post with this one to you if you're one of my customers or if you'd like one you live in the uk you don't have a demonstrator already if you've got your demonstrator already ask for one from them um yeah so if you want one let me know but otherwise you'll get one in the post from me and all the things in here are free with a qualifying purchase from either this one or our current annual catalogue and so a qualifying purchase is £45, which is not bad at all. You get loads of free free choice in there. There's stamp sets and papers and all sorts. Morning, Jan! There are so many beautiful things in the Celebration catalogue. And what I love about the second catalogue is with the mini, we're obviously getting all the Christmas stuff. But Celebration is designed to tie in with products in the mini and products in the annual, but mostly that new mini. So it means that you can get more out of what you're buying in the mini and if you find something really nice that you like in here um you're more likely going to get it free the accompanying item for free from here so it's a bonus so yeah as i say if you've got a demonstrator make sure you ask them for one but uh if you're one of my customers i will be sending you one in the post very exciting because it's christmas 
So good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you joined along. So that's all of that out of the way, talking about the new Christmas catalogue. It's really strange to be talking about Christmas in July, isn't it? I know a lot of people do Christmas in July crafting, um, but the reason demos get to pre-order early, it means that we can get all those samples ready to show you what you can do with all the products. So that's why we pre-order. And it's exciting to get a hold of all the goodies early. And my order is coming today. I think it's coming today. We did think it would be rescheduled to tomorrow, but now I've had a new notification from UPS to tell me that it should come today. So fingers crossed, it might even come while we're alive. So who knows? I've just got a small pre-order because I'm doing a bigger order in August. The reason I'm doing a bigger order in August is because they have a nice little incentive for demonstrators to, um, if you reach a certain amount of sales over the customer period, they give you free product. So I do my bigger order in August, but I've got some coming today. Exciting. Anyway, how are you all? Are you all well? Are you keeping healthy and fit in these times? I hope you are. I hope you are. I have some very more exciting news uh, to let you know that I have an actual in-person class event, face-to-face -face uh, class booked for July the 22nd and it's our local village hall. So if you're a local in Aylesbury um, or surrounding area and you come to my classes or would like to come to my class, I have, that's all right, Joe. I'm glad you're here. I have an actual class booked. So my venue that I have booked on a regular basis until the pandemic hit, uh, got in contact with me and said I was allowed to book it um, on the 22nd and that I'm gonna be able to go ahead as long as the restrictions are lifted. So I have sent out a customer email with all the details in and it's on my Facebook page. The closing for booking for that is this Thursday. To oh, I'm sorry, Zaina. I will still be doing online classes, so don't worry. Um, yeah, so the closing booking for that is the, this Thursday. So that's two days time so that I can get everything prepped and ready for the class. I'm also limiting numbers at the class to make it more comfortable for everyone because honestly, we still need to be very careful. Um, so we're having limited numbers. And the great thing about that venue is that I can open the back doors wide, loads of fresh air coming through, and we'll have antiviral wipes and hand gel and everything else going on. So, But if you want to do that, let me know. Oh, Linda, I will be doing another online class. I definitely will, so don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna look at how well the the face-to-face -face class goes. And if it goes well, I might repeat it online. But if not, I will be doing one online, so we'll see. Fingers crossed. All righty, ladies. Did you see my title for today's live? I think it said coffee, cocktails, cookies, and chocolate, or something like that. So I have this. I love this stamp set. Let me turn this around so you can see it. I've got to work out again. I always have trouble with this. So I can turn the flip the camera and it means that you can read the stamp set. Okay, put my glasses on. It says nothing is better than coffees, cookies, cocktails and chocolate or today's plan consume any of those things. You make everything better. Uh, it's like, um, or just kidding, I have no idea. You're just like, or it's a, you say it's a cookies kind of day or a chocolate kind of day, cocktail kind of day. <laughs> I like this one, it says, because adulting is hard. Um, and I'm sure tomorrow will be too. A day without chocolate is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. <laughs> I love this. So I'm using this stamp set and the coordinating dies that go along with it. The Love You More Than Dies, and I'll show you those. So they have, I've taken some of them out because we're using them. They have the cup, it goes with the stamp set, so you can cut the coffee out, you can cut out the cocktail here. Sorry, this is backwards, cocktail here. And this is where you cut out the chocolates here. And then I have a cookie one that cuts out the cookie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm rubbish backwards. Can I say the cookie stamp? And this one says cocktail. No, it says cookies. Um, these words say, I love you more than. I love you more than cookies, coffee, cocktails and chocolate. So I have had this stamp and die bundle a fair while now and have been meaning to get it out. It's definitely a bit of me. 
just see if I can get rid of this. So, I don't know, there we go. So yeah, I know the feeling too. So I thought it was about time I got it and played with it. And I thought today was the day. So I'm also gonna put it together with some really pretty papers I've got. So I am gonna turn the camera around and crack on and show you what we're gonna make. Now, I hope you might be inspired to have a go because it's, it's not a difficult project. I hope you like it. Just moving some of this stuff so that I can move my camera in a little bit closer. I didn't want to be too close when I'm doing my face to face. Hi, Karen. Good morning. Every time you join me, it notifies me that you would like to be in my video. <laughs> I'm not sure why Facebook does that. Facebook's very weird, um, but welcome. I hope you're here. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around, so do bear with me while I do that. I'll bring it in a little bit. You didn't really wanna see me up that up close early. Right, hold on, I'm just gonna take it out. We're gonna have some fun. Okay, you'll see all the goodies here. So pretty, I'm just gonna pop the camera down. Bear with me because it's a bit weird when I do that, I am sorry. Here we go, you can see my white cardstock. And it's also very close, so let's sort it out. Here we go. <laughs> That's a bit better. Might be a bit high now though. Don't normally have it up that high. Can you see all right? There's a lot of stuff on my desk. See my laptop. I like to be able to see your comments when I'm doing a live so I can chat with you. <laughs> Does that every time. It did it last time, Karen. It's absolutely fine. I know it's Facebook. It's just a bit weird, isn't it? Don't worry about silly old Facebook. It's very useful, but it's also very odd sometimes. Okay. How's that, guys? Is that okay? I'll move all of this out of the way in a, in a moment. I'm just going to check that everything's okay on my page. Here we go. we got loads of things here. We've got those lovely vellum doilies. I've got some pretty ribbon. We're going to use some of this. But first of all, I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Now, I have made this cute, I think it's cute, little box for cookies. So we're not making a card today. We're going to make a little cute cookie box. And um, it says, today's plan, consume cookies. And it has a little belly band that you can take off, made of ribbon. It's got a little cookie on it. It's got one of those vellum doilies, some pretty paper. It's very easy. And then I didn't have any cookies when I made it. <laughs> but I was thinking, you know, the individually wrapped cookies in a cello wrapper, that would go lovely in there and would make a lovely little neighbour gift. Or if you wanted to cheer up a friend, you could put a really special little cookie in there. Um, just a nice little thing. You could even, if it's, the thing. reason I'm thinking about the cellophane wrapped ones is just because of the pandemic at the moment. You wouldn't really want to have anything that wasn't covered. So, but it would be great for a little, I don't know, a teacher gift. We are at the end of the term now. So you could just do that. But I think it's so cute and so sweet to put a nice, decent cookie in there not a biscuit do you know what I mean a really nice cookie so I'm going to show you how to make it it's ever so simple and um, I've done this one in granny apple green I should have made some with my new mixer Karen I might do that I might, the only problem with that is I've then got to eat it and I'm trying not to eat all the bad things I feed them to my family shall I do that okay I'm going to show you um the papers I'm using and then we can uh, crack on so We've got a really nice host host product at the moment. A host product is when you place an order of £150 or more with Stampin' Up, you get what we call host rewards, which is product credit. And it starts at 10% of your order. And the host um, rewards you can spend on anything you like in the catalogue, but they also have some host items which are subsidised, which means that you get some really nice items for less. So say you spent £150, your 10% would give you £15 in product credit. If you spent a bit more, you'd get a bit more. But then 
your stamp set or your papers or whatever it is you've got with your host, if it was a host one, it's going to be cheaper than buying them some of the some of the other items that are more expensive. I hope that makes sense to you. And you can find them in the catalogue. But one of our host items at the moment, which I absolutely love, is this super gorgeous designer series paper. And it is a pack of 12 by 12 papers, but you get 48 sheets in there. And so I've just taken a quarter, so each sheet of each to show you what you get. And they are beautiful. They are so beautiful. Look at all these gorgeous colours. So many pretty designs. Like this and like this. And like this. This one I chopped into for the one that we've just made. Love it. We've got this one. And we've got some more kind of plain florally ones. A nice strip, strip one. A nice kind of pink animal print. But then, if you're not into all those colours... We've got super nice, super, super nice, black and white all the way through the backs of these. Gingham, leaves, spots. So if you place a nice large order, you can pop these in your basket. Can't you? Um, for much less, much, much less. I think these are 17 pounds of stamping rewards for 48 sheets of gorgeous designer series papers. So I think that's a bargain. Anyway, enough of all that. I just love the papers and wanted to use them today. So I have got these and I've decided I would use this one that I've actually got on the top. So let's move all the other ones out of the way. Yeah, this is the one I was using earlier. Love that one. I'll see if I can show you the host papers in the catalogue later or show you where they are so you know where they are so i've got this one so i thought okay i'm using this paper i think i should then choose something to go with it um so i've got a piece of white i need and then i've got some more so this is pool party color so i've got some pool party cardstock and i think red real red goes with pool party so i'm just thinking about what i'm going to do now i've also pulled out some really pretty real red ribbon, but I want it to show up. I think I'm still gonna go with a real red box. Let's try it and see. So let's pop that out of the way. And there's not many measurements to remember. And what I'll do is I'll put them in the description of the, the Facebook video when it goes back up after I finish live. I also post them on YouTube, so um, yeah, if you're watching watch me on YouTube, thank you. Please leave me a comment if you like it, and I will put the um, <clears throat> directions um, over on my blog and the link to my blog. Good morning, Doreen. <coughs> Do excuse me, I've got a tickle today. So I've just taken a piece of A4 real red cardstock. Let's bring it down so you can see it. And I need a piece that is eight and three quarter inches by four and three quarter inches. So I'm going to bring the arm out of my trimmer. Love my trimmer. And I want it to go to eight and three quarter inches. So we talked about this last week. So this week we are working in inches. I thought it would be a bit of a change. So that's eight and three quarters. And it's going to have to go by four and three quarters. And that's your piece of cardstock. I'm going to save those other bits for another project. Okay, so that's our piece of card. Four and three quarters, that's right. All right, so with the short piece still at the top, I'm going to do some scoring now. And I'm going to score it, still with the short piece at the top, at three quarters of an inch, like so. And then I'm going to score it at four inches, which means that from both sides, there is a score mark at three quarters of an inch. So you could eat, you could just turn it around and do another three quarter on this side. But if you put it at four inches, you've got one on both sides, you've got a score line on both sides there. Okay, so then we're gonna turn it around. We have the long side at the top and we're gonna score it at three quarters of an inch again, I believe. We're going to score it at four inches such a simple box four and three quarter inches and at eight inches all right 
right up there. Okay, and that's all the scoring and cutting we need to do for now. So let's pop that one out of the way. Okay, now I think I am going to bring in my bone folder, that one here, and I'm going to just use my bone folder to burnish the score lines to make it really crisp. I think it'll help the box. And you can see it better. Super cute. So if you've got a friend that needs cheering up, make her a nice cookie. <laughs> a really nice one. Or get your kids to make her a nice cookie. And then wrap it up and pop it in a really nice cookie box. It's just a fun thing. Okay, so this is how our box is going to go. So you can see that we're going to have a bottom and a top like so. Okay, so what we need to do now is just take out um, these bits here. So do you see these little lines? We're going to cut along those here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then we've got four on the other side as well. But to do it, we're going to kind of take out this bump that we've made with the scorer. So I'm just going to go inside it on this side, like that. And then where the square is, I'm going to shave a little bit off to make a little kind of mitre corner. So it means that when we fold it together, you won't get any nasty bits sticking out. It's my little dog. He wants to come in and join in the fun. He gets in the craft room all by himself. He opens the door with the handle, with the handle. Honest, he does. <sighs> he just bangs on that handle until it opens. Fantastically. Has anyone else got a mad dog like me? Am I doing this right? I was doubting myself. Yes, I am. So do for all of them. So you've got those little slanty bits like that. And make sure your, your beveled, if you like, edge bit is on the squares. It's my shadow, my dog. You've got three mad dogs, haven't you, Joe? Your dogs are so adorable, though. So they let themselves in. Don't think they could jump high enough. Alfie's so big, you don't get a choice, really. So on the corner, I'm going to do the same, just so it doesn't stick out. Just take a sliver off. These aren't going to show so much. Like that. Let me see. I think I'm going to do it. That should do it just on the bottom. I'll check if the top needs doing it when I put it together. Right, let's get rid of all those bits. Now, decide which is the top and which is the bottom. And then you are going to put it together. But just to help you open your top part of your box, grab a little circle punch. Anyone that you've got. This one is a half inch punch. But anyone that you own and you just want to pop it in the middle here and make a little thumb tab uh, kind of aperture thing. You have a cat that would open the back door so the dog could get out. Oh, that's a nightmare. <laughs> Zena, that sounds so funny. That's like that, um, what's that Pets movie? It's probably just called Pets. Oh, it's just so funny. They like ganging up together. When things are back to normal, definitely. Definitely. Oh, it won't be long. Things are coming back. All right, so now I'm going to start to glue my box together and I'm going to do the bottom first. So these little flaps here, I'm using Tombow for mine. Um, it's really good. You could use the seal, but you need to make sure it's a really good glue. Seal would work. And then you're just going to pop it together and make sure you have a nice crisp um, join and just hold it for a minute so that it sets nice and hard because you want your box solid. But it's really good glue and you can see you've got a nice nice join there so where you've trimmed it it's not poking up 
because you don't want those ugly bits like you know poking up out the top so there's that one and then we're going to do the same here a little bit of blue so I'll make it any color combination you like use any papers you like use anything you've got good morning Helen you're not late you're never late copying cards is a come as you are come whenever you like as long as you come <laughs> I'm only kidding right okay so and I always find when I'm making a little box it's a lot easier to do my lid at the last and then I close it up like that and then I, I put my glue so I'll show you again if I put my glue here and here and then I close it as if I'm going to be closing the box and then wrap it round this way you know your lid is always going to fit so if you're about a millimeter out or something it's not going to be too tight hello Carol you're never late you're very welcome and not late hello Jen again right there we are so give it a minute to glue down like that and you have your little box and it's just cute and it's about the right size to put a cellophane packet of those nice like two cookies in I think I'm gonna have to go cookie shopping later I can feel it coming on I don't think I ought to make them Zaina I'm just gonna eat them all if I make them and I'm trying so hard to be good okay I'm gonna turn over my grid paper because I seem to have the centimeter side upwards if you look on the back of your grid paper, lots of people buy this. You can buy this, not just demos. And um, it's got all the measurements on there. I also use it for cutting ribbon and all sorts of things, measurements. So it's got my inches on there. So I don't know if you can see the bottom. But if I measure it up there, you can see that this is three and a quarter inches square now, this box. And you can see where the front is. I've got that little notch. So I'm going to make it, I'm going to cut a piece of designer series paper that will fit on there. So I, I want that to be about three inches. Let's grab that paper that I chose from that pack. But if you did paper share with me, you'll have loads of paper. You could use any of it. So I'm just going to cut a three inch strip off the side. Like so. I like these splodges. What's that? Okay, so we have this one. Let's make sure I put it right in the right way. And then we have this one that goes on. So doing three inches, it just means there's a little gap around the outside, which is quite nice. And then I've got these. I thought this would add a little bit. I had these for a while too. They're beautiful. They're the square vellum doilies. And I thought it would add a little bit of texture and interest. And you get a lot in a packet. You get 24 of these beauties. And they're so delicate. Sorry. And light. Can you see those? They're the vellum doilies. And they're square. Which I like. They'd be good for um, that technique I did in my video where I made that card. Sorry, I'm not being very clear. Here it is. Hang on. I did this the other day and I used the die cut and sponged ink all the way through it to create this background. Um, hang on, it's still on my desk. So this is the one I was kind of trying out. You could definitely do that effect with these doilies, I think. That might be worth a go, see what they look like. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit of a distraction, wasn't it? <laughs> so I am going to put my doily on there and it fits perfectly. That is just brilliant. Oh, you've got some of these doilies coming today. They're great, Carol. It is cute so far. I don't know because I haven't tried this colour com combination, what it's going to look like. I've got some of the... Uh, this is the sheer three-eighths of an inch pool party ribbon. We're going to use some of that. Right, now to decorate it. This is the fun part. I've got a couple of layering circle dies. We have a set of layering circle dies and I'm going to use those. 
And let's see if I have got... So I've just taken the layering circle size. It's just the one that will fit nicely and won't obliterate the front of my um, piece of paper. And I just got them to fit. So this one kind of nests over that one. And I've got the tiniest then border. There's sizes that go up, so you could have much more of a scalloped edge showing. But I just wanted it peeping through. Um, so I grab a scrap. I keep my bags in a uh, my scraps in a labelled bag. I don't know what you do, but I find that really simple to find what I need. I'm going to run that through my stamping cut and emboss machine next to me and get that little scalloped circle. There we go. bit of a noise, doesn't it? So I've got one of those. Put that to the side. And then I'm going to do this one in white. Now I don't have any scraps of white. I've just been through all of them, so <gasps> I'm going to have to use a big piece. It's fine. I use all of my white, which is why I don't have any scraps big enough left. So I didn't actually have time because I only thought about it afterwards um, when I thought about making this little box. But it would be really good to make a little three by three card. And I might make one later and add it in. Um, you could make a little three by three uh, card in the same design and you could pop it in the envelope and slot it in the back and give it. And I think that would be so nice as a gift to write your little message on. Here we go. Right. Okay, so here's the fun bit. So you can see there's just a tiny little bit of edge peeping through and I quite like that. And that's gonna go on here. Okay, so let's have a think about what I'm gonna do next. I think I am going to stamp in red it's going to be a bit in your face and i have taken out a couple of the stamps already and i've got today's plan consume <laughs> so you could put chocolates in the box and you could put today's plan consume chocolate that would be nice wouldn't it this would be a great if you kind of jazzed it up made a little christmas one out of it right today's plan consume Real red ink to match the uh, card stock. I'm just grabbing my stamp cleaner because that's very, very juicy ink pad. Sorry, that makes a really squeaky sound. But that's a lot better. Okay, so today's plan, consume. And then I need the cookies dye. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Did I put you away? I don't think I did because I was looking. Yes, I did. Is this the... Cookies. Does that say cookies? Yeah, I did put it away. I'm tidier than I know. <laughs> and I think we're going to have it in the pool party as well. I'm going to pop that one through. the die cutting machine next to me. So I'll show you. Comes out like this. So let's take this one off because it's stuck to my... There we are. Now you can see it's left the little dot for the eye behind. So you can take it with you. And if you really want to, you can add it to your project. I didn't think it really needed it because you can tell what it says on there, but you can if you like. Maybe I'll do it on this one. Okay. <clears throat> this is my favorite tool. Take your pick tool and it does all the jobs. <laughs> it literally does all the jobs. 
Right, let's take the middles out. Like that. And don't get your dot mixed up with your rubbish. <laughs> okay, today's plans. Consume cookies. I do like the colours. Right, glue. Did you? You used this set last week, Karen. It's lovely, isn't it? It's the first time I've used it. One of my team, uh, Lucy, has it. And she's been using it a lot. And she's made some really fun projects with it. And every time I see her use it, I'm like, oh, I've got to get mine out and play. So, eventually, I did. <laughs> But I can see a lot of use for it. Cookies. You could actually cut out a few of the cookie die shape, um, this shape, the word I mean, and layer them up. And then you would end up with a really kind of 3D look to that cookies word. I sometimes like doing that. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue here. Could do with a fine tip glue pen, really. Because I've made a bit of a mess. I can get it to go on. Let's use this. <laughs> Chasing it round. At least the glue dries clear. Oh, I see. I love these dyes. They're great. There we go. Today's plan, consume cookies. We're going to make our little belly band. So, what I did was I just put a little bit of tearing tape onto the scallop circle. Not too much, you don't want it coming out too far and showing. I'm going to stick these bits together. Make sure you know where the front of your box is so you don't stick your sentiment on upside down. This is a new glue. Can you tell? It's shooting out everywhere. <laughs> oh, the sun is coming out. Tell me where you're all from and is the sun shining with you? I would love to know. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on the bigger parts of this doily just to anchor it down nicely. few little spots where you can definitely glue it. There we are, that should do it. It's grey there in Norwich. It was very grey until a few minutes ago here too. But it seems to be perking up a little bit. I like the subtlety of this doily. Okay, so we're going to go for some ribbon. Now we need to work out, just peeping out there too, Jen, brilliant. We need to work out how big we want this to be. That's, uh, how did I do this? Oh yeah, I did it in between, that's right. Um, yeah. So if I wrap my ribbon round, I have a general idea of where it starts. Is it lovely in Devon? Good morning, Julia. It is going to get hotter over the next week, Helen. I am so excited about that. Uh, it's lovely in Devon. I'm so, so nice to see you, Julia. How are you? What's it like with you, Linda? Tell us what the weather's doing. So chop it off. You are just, oh, it's dull. Yes, I think it keeps coming coming and going, Joe. that weather, that uh, sun it keeps peeping. But we are going to get hot weather on the weekend, as Helen says. So, or like even Thursday, Friday. So I'm just wrapping it around, but I'm not pulling this too tight because if I pull it really tight, it's never going to come off when I want to get my cookie out. And I need to get the cookie out, don't I? Oh, am I going to eat it? <laughs> Right, so I'm going to grab some uh, dimensional foam pads. I'm going to pop some of these on here. Quite a few because I want it to stick properly. Oh, Julia, that's awful. 
having to do number crunching. I'm not very good with numbers. Well done then. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> right, let's glue that down a bit better. And of course this will move around with your belly band. So let's put this on. Today's plan. Consume cookies. Now there is a couple of bits missing, I think, on it. Let's grab some more of that white and I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to use some of the stamp set of the stamp set, not just the sentiment. We're going to go, we've got the cookie out. And the cookie has cookie pieces, like all the chocolate chips and the, the kind of texture. And then we've got the color of the cookie. So it's a two-step stamp. I started stamping it with just this and it was absolutely fine. So you don't have to two-step stamp if you don't want to. But then I tried it with this and I liked it. So I've got a couple of different colors to use. I've got cinnamon cider and I've got crumb cake and I've got a few out. I tried early espresso, um, but I like the cinnamon cider better. So I think I'm going to stamp first. I can't remember what I did. Stamp first in the cinnamon cider. And it gives you a nice like kind of chocolate chip effect. Can you see that? So I want a couple there. And that's all I need really. Let's clean that stamp because it's another juicy ink pad. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go in and fill that in with the crumb cake ink. So I did the outline first, so it meant that I could see a little bit better. I'm going to stamp this off so it's not quite so dramatic. I think if you really want a very well cooked cookie, you would do it that colour. But I want mine a little bit paler. I didn't leave mine in the oven that long. <laughs> so stamp it off and you can kind of line it up. Just fill in that image there. And of course, we have the cookie die to cut it out with. So we cut the cookies out. And I've got a couple that I already made earlier, Blue Peter style. So I've got a couple. I didn't stamp those as well, but I, it was the first time I've used it. I think I've got a little bit better at it. But we're going to use them. Why not? So let's pop that over there. Today's plan. Oh, I was going to use the real red ribbon, wasn't I? Was I going to use the real red or was I going to use the pool party? Well, I used the pool party in the end, but you could use either. Either would work, wouldn't it? So let's pop a couple of these on. Today's plan. Consume cookies. <laughs> I wish it was. I really wish it was. Today's plan, what are we going to do? We're going to consume cocktails. <laughs> Maybe not on a Tuesday morning, eh? I think we've got one underneath there. Like that, right underneath. It doesn't interfere with your belly band. Have another one. I don't want to cover up all that nice paper. Another one there. You could even put another one in if you wanted, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. Let's see. Now, I did want to pop something else on there. Let's grab. These little basic rhinestone gems. We'll finish it off, shall we? Let's just use a couple of these. Make it just a little bit nicer. One. Let's pop one down there. There. And one last one. Where are we going to put that up here somewhere? On the cookie I think. There we go. I don't even know what the time is. 
Oh, we've got 10 minutes left. Oh, I'm doing very well. Oh, so, okay, these are our cookie cookie boxes. What do you think, ladies? Do you think they are, Do you, would you have a go? It's not a difficult box. Would you have a little go at this one? Let's pop some of these on. And which would you prefer? The really colorful one with the Bermuda Bay? This one and the Granny Apple Green? Or do you prefer the more muted one with the pool party? Which one do you like? Tell me what you like the best. I'm glad you like it. There we go. I don't think I'm going to start a card. I'm not sure if we've got time to start a card. Um, but I might just get the basis of one going and then finish it off camera so you can see it. So I'm going to grab a piece of um, pool party. I am going to cut it at three inches this way. Oh, hi, Hilary. You like the green one? I do too. I like the bright zingy colour. Good morning to you. Six inches. Score it at three inches. So we've got a six by three inch piece of cardstock. We've got a little tiny card. We will have a tiny bit of the designer series paper. We've got plenty of that because I cut it at three by three. So if I make that two and three quarter inches, how is that going to look? Oh, that's cute. That works, doesn't it? Okay. Um, let's have a look. Let's grab that die. Do the same again. So we'll have a white one. Let's cut it out. Oh, will it? It'll fit the wrapped Polish biscuits. Starting with K that will fit these. Oh, that's good. Right, so we've got that one, and then we need that one. So I'll pop those both through the stamping cut and emboss machine at the same time. Save me running lots of runs through it. dies safe. I think I might need to replace my cutting pads. They're getting a bit worn out, leaving little bits of uh, fibres of the cardstock on my die cuts because I've been using them for a very, very long time. I will rub off. There we are. So that could go on there. That could go on there. And we'll do it again. We need a tiny bit of white cardstock for inside. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Good morning, Jen. Jan. I'm getting my Jens and my Jams. Yeah, good morning. Right, let's just take that at two and three quarters. Like that. And this one at two and three quarter inches. So all of the little layers on this card are just two and three quarters of an inch. And that's going to go inside here. And we are going to put, I think I'm going to do it the other way around this time. So have I got the pool party ink pad? No, how have I not done that? Let's grab it. Right down the bottom of the pad. We're going to do this really quick card. Let's have a look. Where is it? Today's plan. 
going to do this in blue and hopefully it will show up. It's a very juicy ink pad actually, I didn't realise. Consume. There we go. I kind of smudged that a little bit. I think it's okay. Pop that out of the way. And then we need cookies in red. Real red. Here we go. We've got some real red scrap. And take the cookie die. Pop that one through. Just a slightly different to the box. Same colourway. Still red and full party. Cookies. There's my tiny weenie dot for my eye. Grab my take your pick tool. I keep putting down and I can't find. Oh look, I made a mess now because I'm hurrying. <laughs> Let's pop those bits out. I thought the splash of the red would work a little bit better on there. Okay, let's put some glue on it. Yeah, so this is going to fit in the back of the box, I'm hoping. Let's try it. I hadn't designed it. It's We're winging it. Because I hadn't planned on the card, but why not? I think it would look so nice on there. And then you could write your whole, whole spiel inside. stuck to me like that um, I will put a little bit of glue and put that eye dot there there we go today's plan consume cookies so what I can do, pop that on there, pop that on there. Oh, yeah, we need a doily. Did I get another one out? No. Is that going to be too big now? No, it's not too big. <laughs> this is the problem. I've made you all need to go shopping for biscuits, haven't I? This could be an issue. I think this is this afternoon's job. I need to pop into town anyway. So I think there may be some biscuit buying. I can guarantee my, one of my family will eat them for me. <laughs> so it's not so bad. <laughs> right, pop that one on there. So a tiny little, we do the three by three envelopes for stamping up. So you can definitely get those for your three by three cards. Okay, so that's like that. Now I'm wondering if I put the same ribbon in to match or if I go in with a bit of red. Oh, my husband sneezed. <laughs> no, I think we're going with the same ribbon, otherwise it's going to look a bit strange. So a bit of tear and tape. We have got a Poundland. Oh, we're going to have a look. Oh, <laughs> lots of boxes at number three, Joe. That's so nice. 
I hope you do. It's going to be a fun one to make. I can see you doing, you know, you could put anything. You don't have to use the cookie um, stamp set and die, although I think it really lends it to it, doesn't it? Oh, I was going to put the ribbon inside. I was thinking about cookies again. Stop me thinking about cookies. I have made a mess. Looking for my, this is what I'm looking for. Foam pads. You won't see my mistake on the back. So we won't worry about that. Just a secret between us. Am I making you hungry? Usually near the chocolate. Oh no. Will you stop with the chocolate? <laughs> Oh dear. Today's plan. Consume cookies. It's mostly coffee for me at the minute, I think. But yeah. So that's together. So I've sandwiched that together like I did with a belly band, but just a piece of ribbon going through it. I could bring it down a little bit. There we are. And then I'm just going to glue it on the front as is. And then on the inside, I'm going to put another one of the sentiments. I think that needs adjusting that ribbon, but I'll do that afterwards. Okay. Today's plan. Consume cookies. All day. Uh, so, and then I've got my little piece for inside. And the stamp I'm going to use is going to be oh, this one. This one is loads of different. You can you can have something a little bit more sensible, but I'm going to use because adulting is hard. Oh, I like doing those kind of Hershey bar projects. The only problem I have with that, Zane, is they fit so nicely in all the things that you can make, don't they? The only problem I have with them is I don't really like the Hershey to Hershey chocolate. But then I suppose it's not me that's eating it, is it? If you're gifting it, the other person will like it, I would have thought. So where's the red? Real red. I made a mistake here. Do you see what I've done? This is a tip for you. If you put your photopolymer stamp on the block like that, you can easily put it at an angle, bend it, and then when you stamp it, it'll come out curved. I'm just going to clean it so I can adjust it, and I'll show you the better way of doing it so you don't do what I did. So take your stamp let it find its own natural shape on your surface and then pick it up with your block and then it won't go all wonky because adulting <laughs> is hard nobody wants to adult really <laughs> i really like because adulting is hard i like that that's funny Oops, sorry. Okay, last thing. We need a cookie on there, don't we? Just a cookie there. And then you can write your little note. If I put cookies all over it, there'll be no room. Because adulting is hard. I'm going to... Yeah, so you can pop in there. Who needs to adult? Just have the cookies. That's all right, Karen. I'm so glad you dropped in. Thank you very much for joining me. So that's it. And what I'm going to do, 
is I might add those cookies or a couple more of those to the front of the card. But I think we might be, oh, we're three minutes over. That's not bad, is it? I might just grab one of those and cut that out. So grab a bit of washi tape. I'm going to stick it down so it's knows it stays where it's meant to stay. Pop it through. And then I'm going to see if I can attach my card to my cookie box. And then we're done. There we go. So. Oh, it's stuck to me. Where are we going to pop it? Up there, I think. I'm going to put it there. And I might stick it on with a foam pad as well. Oh, I'm glad you like it. It'd be a great little teacher present, I think, you know, for the little ones. Or anyone, any child. Really inexpected, inexpensive little gift at the end of term or just your neighbor or your friend whoever you like today's plan consume cookies so i don't know if i've made this belly band big enough actually but if you make your belly band big enough and you pop this in the envelope you can slot this card in with it if you get my drift does that make sense so in the envelope slot it in it does fit actually and you can just give it like that how cute is that? That's so fun. I hope you've enjoyed it today. It's been a little bit different. No cards at Coffee and Cards. Well, one little card, I suppose. Um, and you might be inspired to have a go. So thank you, guys. Thank you, ladies, so much for sticking with me and for joining me for Coffee and Cards. I will be back on Friday for a Facebook Live Friday evening. Uh, not a Facebook Live, for a YouTube Live over on my YouTube channel on Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Thank you so much. If you're watching me on replay Please let me know how you're watching me if it's on replay. I really appreciate that. And if you're watching me on YouTube and you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Jan. Thank you, ladies. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.